I got this set with Quanky the Quain. Wyatt Smith is really into trains. I started liking trains when I was nine months old. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. My first train was uh, Thomas and Friends All, All Engines Go. The world's largest Thomas the Train exhibit is just one of the features in this one-of-a-kind entertainment center. There's also a play area, a fun house, a party and event space, and the centerpiece, the world's largest indoor train display. It's hand-built. Volunteers spend thousands of hours constantly updating it. Every day out in the train layout, there's something brand new. PR manager Bill Mefford says they're trying to figure out what's next for the 100,000 square foot space. It opened back in 2008 and is now for sale for $6.5 million. Well, right now we're looking for buyers, sad to say, but uh, the owner, Don Aders, is in his 70s. He's looking to retire. The business sits on six acres right off I-75. The, uh, the long term and the big hope is that uh, we find buyers who will keep it open because it's a unique, one-of-a-kind, very popular attraction. And her trainment junction says it gets about 125,000 visitors a year. We came here by surprise. My mom and dad didn't tell me. Wyatt and his parents made the trip from Tennessee to Westchester Township. The most greatest thing I've had on spring break so far. And her trainment junction hopes the icon stays open so the passion of train lovers young and old can be fulfilled with a trip inside. The owner said they've had interest from buyers who want to redevelop the land into something else. He told me he will sell either way, but the plan is to stay open at least through Christmas. You can always get local stories right here on YouTube, but go ahead and hit that subscribe button to get notifications to stay in the know.